What's up everybody? I'm California Kurt and you're watching Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. Today, I'm at the beach. We're picking up fracking sand here. Not like fracking sand, but like fracking sand out of the Gulf here in Houston. They're gonna load me right away. This is one time we're being here first. Helps. where they get this sand from. Maybe they get it out of the Gulf. I guess you can't make the ocean any deeper, so it doesn't matter how much sand you take out of the bottom of the ocean. I'm speaking out of ignorance, though. In that, in that regard. Fracking sand is regular sand mixed with an extract of guar a bean predominantly grown in India. Once the bean arrives at the ports in Houston, it is ground together and used in the process of fracking, which is a method to extract oil and gas out of the ground. This load will be approximately 45,000 pounds and hauled all the way to Denver, Colorado. After a sleepless night at a truck stop, the driver tries to get in a nap before his 10-hour drive. Noises outside make it difficult to sleep. The forklift going in and out of the trailer makes it shake. But once the trailer is loaded, he takes it to be weighed at a nearby scale, only to find that it is out of order. This is very odd for a cat scale. The driver then has to go to a pilot truck stop, about 10 miles away. He weighs in there and heads out to Denver. The driver grabs a quick sandwich at the pilot in Huntsville, Texas. The DOT clock ticks. The trip progresses smoothly and he makes it to the Petro in Amarillo, Texas. But the weather reports have many drivers concerned because of high winds ahead on 287. This is one time a heavy load is welcomed. The brown dust in the background still brings cause for concern. Many trucks with light loads choose to stay behind.
Without a moment's notice, the winds kick up a huge dust storm, creating hazardous conditions. The small tumbleweeds dance across the road like rats fleeing a sinking ship. It finally gets so bad, the driver seeks a safe haven to wait out the storm. This might be a good time for that 30 minute break. Finally, the wind dies down. The sky turns a brilliant blue, as if God has painted it himself. The winds are still strong, but not unsafe to travel. The driver makes it to Lyman, Colorado just before the sun sets. There are brief periods of rain and even snow causing the ground to be wet. Many drivers hurry to find a place to park before they're all taken. Just as the driver backs into his parking spot, an airline breaks, causing the air pressure alarm to go off. Some tumbleweeds have hitched a ride. No worries. The folks at TA just over the freeway have the park to fix the problem. Now it's time to rest. The morning comes quickly and the driver wakes to the morning sun. A breeze brings an odd odor from the outside. You never know what you're going to smell at a truck stop. Apparently the bull hauler trucks decided to get close in the middle of the night. It's a new day. Time to get rid of some of the hitchhiking tumbleweeds and make the delivery to the waiting customer. Surprisingly, traffic in Denver is light, making it easy to hit the delivery time. There's no snow, so the driver backs into the dock as usual. The high altitude gives the engine a funny sound, almost like a ping. Fortunately, there's plenty of room to dock the truck so the trailer can have the fracking sand offloaded. Even with a warehouse full of sand, I guess they need more since by the time we're finished, there are three more trucks lined up outside. Yet another successful delivery by the driver that most people know as Indiana Jack. My name is Penny Wilson. Thanks for riding along and remember, trucking really is an adventure. See you next time.